Hello everyone, CDNet here with another short update to the Avalanche ecosystem. We're going to talk about Cubeterium. Now at the moment of recording, what you're looking at right now is the website. Before minting goes live, I would love to spam this button to get some, but I cannot. Uh, but we can already take this moment to look through the website, explain a little bit things about them. And then as soon as the minting actually go live, I'll do that, record that, add it into the video get all the thoughts out there and get this video out there as soon as possible. So let's get into it. Cubeterium is a NFT game a little bit like, for example, what you may know from Crypto Seals, but there, the key difference is that there will be some sort of playable game at that show. It's not just a collectible game, there will also be a little bit of a, I, I think it's kind of Minecraft-like, build your own world, sandbox, meet your friends, play around kind of game attached to it. Now this part will be fairly familiar to you. There is a pricing policy that will make it more expensive to buy a new sugar cube, as these characters are called, the later you buy one. And there are different rarity tiers ranging from human to non-human to Rubik's cube to ancient. Now another bonus for the first people who are participating is that there will be an airdrop. The airdrop will give you land. I'm not entirely sure what makes you eligible to claim it. I'm pretty sure you'll have to have some sugar cubes for it somehow. Maybe just one of the first 4,000 or so. And the land is actually what you'll be building your world on. Now, like I said, the Cubeterium is a kind of creative space with no direct objective and you can just kind of hang around and meet your friends and, and maybe do some competition or so. There is also a marketplace, but it will it's not live yet. I assume it will go live at some point. Now, I'm quite excited to get into it. In a few more minutes for you, that will be instant. Minting will go live and I will make sure to smash that button uh, so you know what it looks like. Uh, it's probably not going to be too complex. Let's take a look at that and yeah, see you in a few. Okay, so the app is live. It went quite fast. So similar to what you may have experienced with crypto seals, your transaction may have failed a couple of times just because you were trying to claim um, for a price that was at that point invalid just because so many other people claimed before you. In the end, I got two of them for 0 0.4 AFX. In my case, both human, both of a 50% chance to be you know, a human. So nothing too rare, but uh, curious to see where we'll go for the airdrop. I understand now that there needs to be a total of 4,000 sugar cubes claimed before we can claim it. I'm not sure if there will be unlimited ones, so I would recommend you to keep an eye on that if there is not already 4,000 minted by the time this video goes live. Now, I did hear that it may have been possible for some people to view whichever uh, sugar cube was behind the next number uh, on top of some, some other possible startup issues. So not the smoothest start, but wish them, you know, the best in the future. I do think this idea is very interesting and I uh, hope to see them able to keep on developing on it. For now, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one and goodbye.